Oh, what a cop out. Welcome back to Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon, episode 13. It's time for Impact! <laughs> I missed Impact. Really, I did. Well, it's been a while, and, you know, it'd be a good way to finish off this bot, this dungeon, right? Right, right. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Back to Mystical Ninja Starring Gurman! <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted one. In between takes, we, you know, <laughs> we got stuck on talking like that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know. It's like, Ermagerd Gurman! Gurman. Mystical Ninja Starring Gurman with Urtra Director Jester and the Nursker! <laughs> Impactor! Back to the game, though. This works similarly like the last time. We're gonna what go through a long oh, okay. ocean corridor. I was about to say, up. what on earth are you fighting? But then I realized, yeah, we're escaping. Whoops. M millions are dead. <laughs> destroying the entire Yeah, landscape. look at all these beachgoers! You are destroying their livelihood! And there's bridges that pop out of nowhere. And break impact, good lord. Don't worry, he fixes easy. He's like oh. the Iron Giant. He repairs himself automatically. Oh, okay, good, good. I am not a gun, says Impact. No, he's a gun dumb. Oh, oh my god! I went there! You are so I fucking clever! went there! Oh yeah! Mission accepted. God, end the episode now! There's no way we're gonna come up with another zinger like that! Yeah, might as well end the series. Might as well end the channel now. <laughs> that's, about, that's about as good as my comedic... My, my comedic win. Yeah, that's about as good as my comedic <laughs> win's gonna get. Yeah, that's just the end of everything. Okami le left to its own fate. Um, Mystical Ninja no longer going. <laughs> You've all played these games before anyway! <laughs> Y'all fucking know how this ends. Why do you need me to play it for ya? <laughs> Let me guess, the good guy wins? Oh, look at that. So now we're somehow underwater. Oh. Funky Kong? Oh, no. That's a, that's a fish, dude. Sorry. So, Funky Prawn, really. Oh, alright, right. Oh, my. Oh. Sorry, Thai Samba 2. A Thai Samba? I thought Samba was like a South a South American music. Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh my. So now we're back in the impact chair doing our impact thing. Impactfully. I thought you actually had to catch the fish man. Well, kind of. I can oh, try really? to hit him with my chain. But just a way to get a free hit. Interrupts his animation cycle when it actually decides to connect. Oh. Now, there's something I actually noticed for the first time. I can't believe I didn't see it in the first Impact fight, but uh, you have a mini-map? Oh, yeah, you can tell where he is sometimes. Yeah, uh, you got your health up top, you got your money, which is your bullets, on the left, your health on the right, and... Whoa! <laughs> uh, I, f I looked up some moves. Oh, good. They're much more complicated than uh, Goemon's Great Adventure was. To do to do the beam, which is I think the only one I really remember, it's C up, then C up, C down, C right, C left, and then Z. No wait, A. My bad. Oh my. It's just so utterly utterly confusing, and I don't even remember it now. <laughs> I still love that. It's like it's like, hey, come here. I need to tell you something. Then beat him in the face. The most common one to do is just a simple BBA, a delicious attack, they call it. How good does so, it taste? So we'll try and get some moves in. There's gonna be some things here. Ah, fuck. You gotta do it just right there, otherwise you just <laughs> hit him twice and that's it. Can you imagine, like, going on at a bar fight, fighting like Impact does? He just, like, just j jiltily throws his hand forward, it's just like, uh, 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 uh. It'd be one thing to see Goemon fight like that, it'd be another way to see someone win like that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what, you wanna go on then? Uh, 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 uh! It's like, oh shit! Shit! He's not fucking around! Oh god. 
Why? So the beam is not very helpful uh, right now. <laughs> yeah, when you don't use it, right? There you go. So I'll just stick to the old tried true fashion of chain him and then. Oh, well, there's that. Whoa, one. what is that? I think I was just trying to figure out moves again. <laughs> so you're just madly pushing buttons. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna put up the the uh, controls as they appear, like how to actually do that, so that way this actually feels like a fucking let's play. Because <laughs> I can't I can't remember right now. I really can't. Because it's so complicated. That's okay. That's and what post U is for. That's right. God, you make your future good, self so. do all the work. I've already got the overlays. I don't need this shit too. <laughs> God, I do so much work for you guys! You better enjoy it! This would have been a great time to use the beam. Uh, yeah. How the hell do you avoid that? Oh. I get That's it. That's what it, This is an endurance round, I think. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. I had to look at my minimap real quick and realize he was to the left of me. Whoa! Don't think so. There we go. Awesome. There we go. There we go. And goodbye. That was really cool. And look how much health we it follow took. Up, follow up. Follow up. Wow, that <laughs> was so much yeah. better than your last fight. Good jobs. So that's oh, how wait. you're supposed to do uh, do the impact fights. That's how those work. Okay, I, I thought he was actually dead, and that would have been a great way to end I the fight. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Come on. You have him. 90 health left. Just give up. Just bend over and kiss your ass goodbye so I can end you. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. There you are. Oh, oh man. 10 health. There. Oh. God damn. All the money. God. There, there we go. He hit my wrist. That's what ended him. <laughs> yeah. You just uh, watch slap him. Now die. Boom. Thank you for playing. Impact laughs at the destruction of his enemies. <laughs> He's got that serial killer face. Oh, that's what we're playing. So I wasn't paying attention. What game was that? It was Persona 4. So now he's got a another movie to complete, so he's gonna go back to France! Oh, God, I love France. Let's go. Such a such a worldly robot. He's the hero we all can look forward to. So, what now? Uh, back to Zanzen Town or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your fight with Impact. Here's some bombs. So, yeah, I, I don't know why I did that. Let's go back to Zazen Town, yes. Good idea. Or Zazen, there we go. Zazen, what'd you say? It has Z in it. Zebra Town. <laughs> cool, close enough. Alright, so this mystical magical item is somewhere in Zazen Town. Is it hiding in plain sight? No. Okay. Someone has it. Hmm... So we're gonna go look for that guy. Somewhere in this city. And again, sometimes to, to advance the story, you need to talk to just one specific person. So I'm gonna try and talk to everybody and see if I can find them. <laughs> Besides, sometimes they have uh, important things to talk about. So oh, he's got super ears. Yeah, that we just took care of the second dungeon, so yeah. Ben Kai's, Kai's being good now, because we kicked his ass. All the children are back, everything's pretty peaceful. Where the fuck is this item at? Hmm. Well. Is the person just... Answer this honestly. Is the person just... 
only there to tell you where this item is? Pretty much. We're getting another flyby of Zazen Town, by the way. Talking about Ben K's collection. Mr. Ushiwaka. Hmm. Probably gonna fade out here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love having all this background knowledge. I know, you're just learning so much about Zazen Town, aren't you? My eyes have glazed over at this point. <laughs> Problem with doing things live. I think it'd be hilarious for you to like riff yourself. Yeah. <laughs> riff myself? <laughs> what like, you mean, just like do the entire scene of me uh, just fucking up and pissing around and just make fun of myself the whole time? I'm just thinking, like, as a blooper, you could be like, oh, God, why? Now, what does that symbol mean? Fire? Well, fire. Fire. Yeah. fire. Big. Okay. Big, big, die, big, big. big. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you don't need to go anywhere. What are you doing? Why are you going to Kai? <laughs> why am I going to Kai? Oh, good lord! With why, all this why, fluff, why? your episode's gonna be five minutes. I think I'm going to leave this in at the end of the episode. <laughs> just, just, here's how bad we fucked up! <laughs> we, I mean me. No, never mind, we got a song. Wait, I remember what I'm doing now. What are you doing? I'm going to go see the Plasma Man. <laughs> <laughs> plasma Man, help! <laughs> I can't remember where I'm going. I still can't use the bazooka either. <laughs> Can you call this episode Comedy of Errors? <laughs> because no one's going to okay. see it till the end. Maybe I'll just leave it all uncut because who cares anymore? <laughs> now, but please, cut out some of it. I mean, we, we got a giant robot in the beginning. We blew our load pretty much. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that that is a good point. This series is technically over because of that zinger you had at the beginning. Yeah. So, the Collector of Zazen Town. Oh, got it. Who's that guy? Damn it, you beat me to it. I would have thought they'd be a bit more specific than that, but that's fine. Let's go talk to the Collector. Pulazuma... Pulazazen. Pulazazen nope. Town. Okay, yeah, okay. That'll do. I was thinking of games where you actually ride a dragon, and Skyrim and Panzer Dragoon are still the only two titles I can think of. Not too much dragon love. Lair? We don't talk about Lair. Okay. But that counts too, right? It counts, but... Okay. Lair sucks. So the Collector... <laughs> is at the Gojo Ohashi Bridge. Oh, he it's is! It's Ben K. Ben K is the Collector. Really? Oh. Well, I mean... Duh. So, in other words, excuse me, Mr. Benkei, do you know where the rest of the game is? Oh, it's right that way. Thank you. So, we need to talk to Kihachi, who is the master collector of Zazen Town, with a collection even greater than Benkei's. <gasps> so, let's go find that motherfucker. Oh, finally, progress. Yeah. The thing is, we were actually... We were right at the place we needed to be. <laughs> oh, this but we is needed to talk to Ben K. Yeah. In yep, order to yep. trigger this. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's Bullshit. one of those games. Oh, 
<coughs> anyway, um, so this guy's kind of silly. Well, not really silly. He's a Kappa. Kappas are strange things. Normally, Kappas try to kill me in any other game I've ever played. So, of course, you guys, sex appeal wins a game. Well, that's the only way to win games nowadays. So, if he w he has the miracle items, so we need to bring him his favorite food. And we all know what his favorite food is. Uh... It'd be tomorrow. Nope, keep guessing. Uh... Uh... Dumplings. Nope. Mixed cabbages. You can't think of any other food? Come on! No! no I'm... I'm trying! I don't remember this game! <laughs> hey, Penke, what's his favorite food? <laughs> okay. Thanks for nothing. I can't think of anything. You can't think of any food that a, a Kappa might like? I... I don't exactly fraternize with Kappas. You don't? Well, I mean, do you? So if you miss that, we need to go to the Golden Temple. Because the son of the priest at the Golden Temple makes the best cucumbers. Oh, well, I'm a fucking idiot. Of course it was cucumbers. Of course it was cucumbers, how could you not know? I mean, they're green like Kappas, so I mean, I'm alright. I get it now! So I, now we I talk to the priest. still don't get it. I still don't so, get it. So we're trying to ask where his son is. He's at the big sacred fire, which was at the place where we were lost at earlier, which might or might not be in the episode at all. But to get up there, we need to have training. So we tell him that we'll undergo the training. We need to go to Bison, where there's a locked warehouse, a mysterious locked warehouse that we couldn't get in before. And take the key that he's gonna give us. Go to the training gym. Use the power that we get from the training gym to go to Mount Yogataki to go get the cucumber from the sun, to go back to Kikuchi, get the fucking miracle item, to go to Stone Circle Ugo, to go to the end of the fucking game. And all of this because of a cucumber. Yeah. Because some idiot dropped it when he was on vacation. <sighs> we get this song, so I can't be that mad. Right, right. What? So we're gonna develop, develop our legs and ankles and become a super jumper. But it's gotta be for someone with triangular eyebrows and a round head. You know, you know one like that? Uh, I'm sorry. Me neither. Maybe Sasuke uh, can do it. Well, I mean, does he really have a triangular head? His eye his eyebrows are triangular. Oh, well. So, uh, this is what I like to call Super Sasuke 64! <coughs> <clears throat> because there's a lot of platforming going on right here. I love this Star of Womp's Fortress. Except it's twice as long and twice as annoying and half as well-programmed. Okay. Oh my god, really? Okay. Because this is N64 graphics, uh, we don't really have circles, we have hexagons. Oh my god, really? So the jumping is not exactly as exact. You think that you can just, you know, hold right, but you have to, like, uh, jump, jump, like, to the side and back. It's really weird, and here's where things get really weird, with that little triangular piece there. Stuff goes wrong with that thing. I don't think it's very well programmed. Like... Compared to everything else, it's really not well programmed. Oh my god, right, this so makes me want to play Mario 64! <laughs> so yeah, not bad so far, right? This seems pretty easy, you know. Wrapping up the challenge a little bit by bit. Got a minute left. Okay, okay, so far so good. Oh god. 
I, I foresee bad things. I don't know why. Just being careful. Being careful. Looking good. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. We can just Where start Where is your again. jump button now? We still got time. We still got time. We can still save this. It's easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Save right, it. Still got time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Save it. Okay, oh, God. You fool! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, if I if I got a perfect storm of oh god. <laughs> um. Sayeth Ultra Director Jester, the perfect storm of oh god. So this one's a bit of a flub, if you can't tell. No. First try. I don't. I don't. I don't make it. No. No. First try. So I have a little bit of fun with that, you know. No, it's like Batman in the Lego movie. First try! <laughs> Can you play like a Metal Gear Solid MIDI over that? Sure. Dun 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 in it. Bam bam bam. So now we're gonna try that again. This is the real one this time. No need for instructions, let's just climb to the top! Your platforming chops, show them to me. Time to show the chops of platforming. <laughs> then a chainsaw comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Miss Goody's starring Goemon, the survival horror version. <laughs> Konami, why? So oh, at this point I'm- Oh shit! <laughs> See? <laughs> that triangle- it, that, that triangle does not do good things. The physics involved with that thing are deadly. So we'll just go up like normal then. Of course, I'm I'm tense, I'm a little little uh, irritated, so uh, trying not to fuck up, but it's not going so well. Stupid triangles! What have they ever done for society? Y you know, not much really. I mean. But all they made was another math class for me to go through, thanks trigonometry. Yeah, all they did was revolutionize how mathematics and the language of science is, uh, is interpreted. I mean, pfft. Fucking idiot. God, useless shape! Three sides? Nah, it's all about the four sides. Yeah, if you're not a square, then you're not structurally sound. So that, that one I missed the first time was actually the last jump. Oh, really? That's it. Oh my. So now we can call ourselves a super jumper. We got the flying magical powers. Flying? Flying. Flying. Wait. Flying. Wait, really flying? Well, let's go show it off. Let's go get that goddamn cucumber. So, answer me this. You got the ability yep. to fly after becoming, you know, super platformer man. Mm-hmm. So you got something to counteract all your platforming skills? You'll see. Okay. It's not it's not what you think. Okay. Cuz remember you need to be stationary in order to use any magic power. Oh. Oh. And also make sure that you have a lot of money with you because this is where you're going to need a lot of it. So here goes. Like that. <laughs> he sounded like he was in pain. So you can't be moving, you have to be completely stationary. <laughs> we'll be what using a lot of it. Stupid sound effect. Oh my God. So there's the son of the priest. We'll check we'll see we're here to check out the big sacred fire. It's uh look at it's uh it's actually it's actually very nice. But do we have Kakachi's favorite? The cucumber? He'll sell it to us for 800 bucks. Jesus. Chump change. So now we got the cucumber, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play. Let's go to Star and Goemon. A cucumber. A cucumber. Mm -hmm. Kappa.